Hello, I'm Michael Zalapsky, and I'm here to show you some tools that can help you get your work done faster, or take your work to the next level, or maybe both. Uh, here's my demo reel. I'm OMW, watch me walk away, putting myself on display, one, two, three a day, I'm on my way, on my way. They want to judge me, I'll testify, catch me on Insta, I'm verified, they want me quiet, I amplify, I'm on my way, on my way to the best thing that you've ever seen, you know that you bow to the queen, you lose all your senses and reason, I'll give you something to believe in. OMW, on my way to you, good at what I do, I'm OMW, OMW, on my way to you, good at what I do. I'm OMW. Now, I've been working with video and motion graphics and visual effects for almost 20 years. I've been using Cinema 4D for 12 of these years. That's a, that's a gosh, it's a long time. I learned how to use After Effects from VHS tapes. That's how long ago I started. Now, I'm working for Maxon as the Red Giant Community Manager and doing freelance motion design and particle simulation on the side. During the years I've been doing client work, I've picked up a number of useful tips along the way, and I'm here to share some of them with you. The main tip is this. If you've got a tool that can help you get your work done faster, use it. Time is money, and I'm here to show you some of those tools. Now, a lot of you have Maxon One, but you haven't really touched the Red Giant tools that come with it. And in your defense, there's a lot of them, and it can be hard to know where to start. Another tip is if your clients are happy, they'll keep being your clients. And that brings us to the first Red Giant tool I want to show you. Picture this. You've made a stunning logo animation for your client. It completely matches their creative brief. But they go, wah, that's not our exact brand color because some jerk eyedropper to still frame and looked with their special eyes. Yeah, you could try to explain to the client that lights and reflections in actual 3D space kind of make colors a little less precise. This isn't Illustrator with Pantone colors after all, haha. <laughs> or you could fuss around with trying to finesse the colors so they match right and re-render in the dial. That's not quite enough fuss and re-render. But instead, just wrangle those colors easily in post. Magic Belt Looks is a very powerful collection of tools, including Color Remap. With Color Remap, you can pick a color, and specify what color it should be. My brand! Here's before, here's after. So much better. We'll come back to Magic Bullet Looks later, but next up, screens. We've all likely had to put TV screens into our work, whether that's a hologram looking thing for a sci-fi piece or just images on a TV screen in the background. It's a fairly common task. There are four tools in the universe that can really help add a certain something to your screens. Hollow Matrix is a pretty obvious one for making holograms or screens look futuristic and glitchy, and also nice for text treatment, but there are other ones that can be used with some more subtlety, like VHS and Glitch. Glitch gives you controls to make a piece feel like a modern bad cable or a slow internet connection, while VHS gives you the look and feel of the 80s and 90s with all the controls for tracking, noise, and grunge that you might want, and it's probably the most famous tool in the universe. They did use it in Kung Fury, after all. However, a relatively new tool that I like even better is Analog. Universe Analog emulates a signal passing through analog equipment in a way that really gives you a realistic screen look, and it's got controls to give you the look of basically every era of tube TV from the 50s on. You can use it in an over-the-top way, as you can here, or you can use it to just add some flavor. Something as awry used it to great effect in their creepy short, Unlucky Charms. With all of these tools, you can either render out the result you want and use it as a texture inside Cinema 4D, or you can comp your results onto your screens later in post. Uh, speaking of screens, a lot of the time we motion designers need to invent futuristic or techy stuff to just put on a screen, and when you don't have time to build the whole animation system from scratch, well, there are some red giant tools that can really help you out. HUD Components, at its core, is kind of like a clone with random effectors right there inside AE or your NLE. You can specify shapes, colors, and more, and have them move in fairly organic ways. You can dive deep and build something up bespoke, or if you're really in a hurry and just need some FUI greebling, you can just pick from the wide collection of presets. Now, we all need arrows, and if you need a line or an animated arrow, there's really nothing faster than line from Universe. Just pick a preset that's close to what you want, tweak the colors, place the points where you need them, and blammo, you just animate one slider. 
And to quickly show progress, there's Universe Progresso. Tons of progress bars, dials, and doodads just a click or two away. Simply animate one slider, and your graphic and numbers move hand in hand. There are also tools to help you sell the power of a scene. Universe's Heat Wave obviously gives you a nice feeling of heat to sell a shot with fire in it with waves of blur and displacement that automatically animate, which is very useful with the new pyro tools, but there are other tools that can be handy as well. VFX Suite includes chromatic displacement, which can be a beautiful way to show speed or power, and if you want some electricity, both Ecto and Electrify from Universe can give your shots some juice. There are also some tools that you can use to just give your project a little kick. Universe has finisher that can just pull out a little bit of extra detail from your scene. And Magic Bullet has a tool called Mojo that adds a bit of a blockbuster feel to pretty much anything. But the main tool I want to show you is Magic Bullet Looks. Magic Bullet Looks is the secret sauce that you can add to just give you that special something on your render. You can use it right inside Cinema 4D as a post effect, or you can use it later inside After Effects, or your NLE, or even on Real Engine. 3D is computer perfection. Computer renders things perfectly right, and you can give your renders that realistic and beautiful analog warmth with Magic Bullet Looks. People know Magic Bullet Looks for the looks over here. There are easy ways to get a stylized look quickly, but I use it for the individual tools more often. Although you can make things faster for yourself by building up a preset look that fits all your needs. Tools like Halation and Film give you the effect of something being shot on actual film. Optical diffusion, chromatic aberration, haze flare, and anamorphic flares make it seem like you used real-world lenses. And you always need some noise or grain to fight banding in digital video, and Renoiser is the most realistic film grain tool I know of. You can set how the grain responds in different luminance areas and more. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention real lens flares. It's so different from any other lens flare plugin out there. Look at how the shapes of the reflections change as a light moves. It's actually doing a ray traced light beam simulation based on models of lenses. Look at how beautiful that is. And finally, check out this piece. I made it in about uh, three hours, maybe. I modeled the ship in about 30 minutes with the new radial symmetry in Cinema 4D. I knew it didn't need a, you know, it just needed some detail, but it's off in the distance, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and it used a model from Kitbash, and uh, the Cinema 4D asset browser had a bunch of stuff in it I used to build out the scene, and I rendered this okay thing out. But then I used Ecto, Super Comp, Magic Bullet Looks, Real Lens Flares, and a little bit of Universe Camera Shake to make it look much less ugly. Check out this piece from Stu Mashwitz. He made a beautiful scene using trap code particular for the rain, real lens flares all over the place, and magic bullet looks for color grading, diffusion, and halation. Halation. There are so many useful tools inside Maxon 1. You all know Cinema 4D. You all love Cinema 4D. I hope this little peek at the Red Giant tools maybe makes you fall in love with some of them too. If you want to learn more about them, Hit up Red Giant on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Or hang out with me, Hashi, and Seth on Fridays on VFX and Chill. Or hit up the Maxon Training Team YouTube channel. We love these tools and we love sharing them with you. Thanks for watching.